A TVC commercial like this one, one person, one computer from zero to one, can it be done? If this were a few years ago, I'd tell you in your dreams. But now with the help of AI video, hey, it's actually possible. So next up is a step-by-step -step paramecium level tutorial. I'll teach you everything from image generation, video generation, and even storyboard breakdowns to complete a TVC product commercial from scratch. If I can't teach you, you can have my head. Friends who often shoot product commercials definitely know, to shoot a product ad, you first need a product. So since this is a tutorial, we'll first use AI to generate one. First, open Tap Now. For those who can't write prompts, the language model on the right side here can help you write them. Just tell it directly. I need a yellow pop top can with the word Tap Now on it, a pure black background, and a cinematic photography effect. Please give me the English prompt. Once you have the prompt, you can generate the image. Currently, in the text-to-image space, if you're talking about the highest artistic quality, that would definitely be Midjourney's V7 model. Click on a blank area of the screen, select Image, choose the model below, paste the prompt, and click the arrow to generate. Midjourney has a particular trait, you see. It's only responsible for high artistic quality, not for accuracy. See? The text is still a bit off. But that's okay. On the image generated by Midjourney, just find the plus sign, drag out, and select Image and use Nano Banana to correct it. Tell it, keep the product the same, but change the main text to tap now. Okay, the product image is done. For a TVC commercial, the most important thing, of course, is the content structure. Coincidentally, on the right side of tap now, we can find ad video inspiration. Let's have it find some commercials for canned drinks. It just gives you a hundred to reference. You'll never run out of references. Continuing with the Nano Banana model, use image to image to generate multi-angle close-up shots of the product. And while we're at it, using the same method, generate product-related elements like a glass, a lemon, lemon slices, blah blah blah. And so we get a set of images like this. I also want these elements to be arranged according to my specifications. That's easy. Click a blank space, select the image editor, draw a simple sketch, and export. Link the elements in the sketch to Nano Banana, and tell it to arrange images 1, 2, and 3 according to the positions in image 4. And so you get this image. Once the images are done, the next step is to brainstorm the script content. So here, since it's a lemon soda ad, I want a drop of sweat to fall from a young woman's face grow into a small sprout, then grow into a lemon tree, the tree bears fruit, and finally the lemon turns into lemon soda. Then the woman picks up the lemon soda and drinks it, and that's the end. For image generation, we'll use Midjourney plus Nano Banana. For video generation, we'll use Kling 2.1 for the opening and closing shots. So the general process is, have the model generate prompts, use the prompts to generate images, then drag the generated images and click video. Select the model and you can generate. At the same time, the rotating can, the falling lemons, and the youthful, beautiful young lady can also be generated. Next is to combine the product and the young lady. Tell Nano Banana to have the young lady hold the product. Here, let's have the young lady drink the lemon soda. We can do this with the Kling 2.5 model. Finally, use the inspiration feature on the right to help come up with a slogan. Let's have the young lady do a voiceover. Here, we'll use the audio model to generate a voiceover, then use one 2.5 to complete the lip syncing. And with that, all the assets are ready. So next, we just import them directly into editing software to assemble the footage. Use an After Effects template to add some text effects. After keying out the character, we add some product copy behind her, add some BGM, some sound effects, and we're done. Let's see the result. Just balance. I've already published all the canvases from this tutorial on the TapNow official website. Just click to reproduce the images and videos we made today. If you've had the patience to watch this far, congratulations! The really good stuff is coming up next. As a blogger who has long made a living using Comfy UI, my feelings about the emergence of TapNow are quite complex. First, of course, I'm a bit sad, right? After all, TapNow has significantly lowered the barrier to entry, making it very difficult for businesses that were originally based on Comfy UI to sustain, whether it's skills training or workflow building, because now even a complete beginner can basically get what they need in just half an hour. 
It's not like Comfy UI, where you'd have to watch 10 plus hours of introductory courses just to get started. Of course, from another perspective, I'm also happy, because aside from AI and related businesses, my main business is as a service provider for e-commerce platforms. The delivery chain for client services, which used to be incredibly tedious, has now become exceptionally smooth. More importantly, when the basic operation of the tool is no longer an obstacle, our team can focus more on the content itself and on how to deliver more direct business results to our clients. At the same time, it's also very beneficial for the team's development. It's no longer like before where it was hard to find the right people. Some had good taste but no technical skills, while others had the skills but no taste. Now, as long as you have good taste and ideas, you can quickly integrate into the team. After all, you can only handle more business by hiring more people. Okay, and I wish all of you watching this to get rich as well. Bye-bye.